Hey my cookies! Today I'll be showing you how to make this easy crock pot chicken spaghetti. Let's cook. To start, we're gonna spray the crock pot with nonstick cooking spray. Then I'm gonna add in my boneless, skinless chicken breast. You can use chicken thighs, you can use bone in chicken, whatever you like. Just add that in. Y'all saw how I threw that little ass breast in? I ain't right. Okay, now I'm gonna add some seasoned salt. Just use your favorite. Um, onion powder and some garlic powder now for the veggies I'm gonna add in some chopped bell pepper onion and chopped celery just finely dice those and don't forget the minced garlic now the Rotel tomatoes um, you don't have to drain them just add it with the liquid and also cream of chicken that was cream of chicken and cream of mushroom if you don't like cream of mushroom you can use two of the cream of chicken it's up to you now i'm going to pour in some chicken broth now i'm just covering it with a lid and i'm going to cook it on high for two hours or you can cook on low for four when those hours have passed you can go ahead and take out the chicken allow it to cool and then you want to shred it shred it up Y'all know that does not look good. But now we want to add in some half and half. Or you can use regular milk and just mix it all together. Don't judge the way it looks. I promise it's delicious. Okay. Alright, so now I'm going to add in some cubed American cheese. I just bought a block of cheese and cubed it up. And this step is optional. But I really, really love the flavor and creaminess this cream cheese adds. So I'm just adding in some cream cheese. I had it in the fridge. I needed to use it. So I decided, hey, let's add it in. So that's what we did. Now I'm adding in my spaghetti. I'm using thin spaghetti. You can use regular if you'd like. And we're going to press it down into that liquid so that it cooks really well. And um, I didn't show you in the video. I'm so sorry. But I took the spoon and kind of separated um, each spaghetti noodle from each other. You know, just kind of let the liquid seep in between each noodle so that it cooks evenly and it doesn't stick together, you know. Added the chicken back in and I'm going to cook it on high for 15 minutes at a time. Check it every 15 minutes until the noodles are cooked perfectly, okay? So after my noodles were cooked, I stirred it well, removed the lid and sprinkled on some shredded cheese. Any cheese you like, I use cheddar. And we're gonna cover it and allow it to cook until that cheese melts. So you can actually turn your crock pot off and the heat that's already in there is gonna melt the cheese perfectly. So once that was done, it's time to eat cookies. I just sprinkled on some fresh parsley just to garnish, make it look a little good, you know how I roll. But that is it, cookies. The recipe link will be down there in the description box. I hope you enjoyed this. If you did, give your girl a thumbs up. Until next time, I gotta eat. Be blessed.